Hi there, Dawn here. Today I am going to do a Colourpop haul. So I saw a few reviews and things on the Pretty Fresh range of Special the Concealers. So I was really interested in trying it. So this is the big box I ended up with. So let's see what I brought. Seems like a really big box. So I didn't buy as much as what this box warrants. So there's a lot of paper in there. Take that out. So it's very well packed. The box is going to get in the way. So, it came with pumpkin spice and everything nice card. And the first thing I see is many singles because I brought a palette that was full of singles. So I'm just going to put those to the side for now. So the first thing I got was the 4th Ray Beauty Soak It Up Moisturiser. So hydrating hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic mask it says. So this one that I plan on using overnight. So dive into deep hydration with this nourishing cream mask formulated with Hyaluronic acid, marine algae, aloe, and vitamin E. Soak it up, rejuvenates dry, sluggish, and overworked skin, leaving you with a re revived complexion. So that all sounds really good, and I'm looking for um, something like this. So I thought I'd give this one a go. And I got the Pretty Fresh Colourpop Prime and Set Kit. So let's open this up. Oh, it comes with a sponge. Maybe I should use a sponge. That they, they came with. So it's got the hyaluronic acid setting a mist and how do I get this one up? And the hydrating hyaluronic acid primer. So I'm going to try those out. I'm going to go wet my sponge as well. And I've got the tinted moisturizer and the concealer. So let's see if I got the right colours. Light 6W. Uh, looks pretty good, I think. I think that would be a good thing. It's a tinted moisturiser, so it's going to be light coverage anyway. And I got, in the concealer, I got Light 45W. So let's see what this one's like. Okay, this one will go for it. Might be alright. Might be a little dark for it under the eyes, I'm not sure. We'll have to try it out and see. Okay. So I'm going to go wet my sponge and try out some of this and then we'll see what else I got. So I've unwrapped all the bits out of the palette and the palette was called, let me just, she's a rainbow palette. So mine will probably be set up in a different way to what it was on site. But this is how I've set mine up. Now these three down here are glitters. This is Palooza. I have already got this twice. So I this is my one, my single that I already had. And then when I got the um I think it was the Aha Honey palette, it had it in there. And they sent another one. So I didn't unwrap this one. I need to put that back in there. Maybe I'll find someone who wants some of that. And I've got three other ColourPop singles. And I'm thinking I might take the glitters out of here and put some other colours in. So this one is called Frey. And I'm going to put in the player. It's a sh light shimmer. And let's just put my nail on one off. I'm going to put in this pink here instead of the one of the glitters. So I've taken out the green one and I've taken out Palooza and this one is called For Sure. So I'm going to put that one in. And 
I think that's all the pop colour pop ones I've got. This one here is called O Ship. And there's another one here that looks very similar. So in the pan, they look very similar. So this one here is called Hard Place. So they are very, very similar. So they're not exactly the same, but they are very similar. Uh, so this is a ship, and this is Hard Place that came in the palette. So I don't think I need both of those in that palette because they're too similar. So if I take out the glitters and put the other ones that I just showed you, it leaves me with one space open. I don't have any other ColourPop ones this size unless I start taking them out of palettes. So I'm actually going to go into, and you'll notice I left a gap in the yellow row because I feel like I'm missing a bright yellow shimmer out of here. So I'm going to go into my classy cake cosmetic. And I'm going to get Killer Lily. And I'm going to put that in there because I think that will go well in there. So before I even start using the palette, I've already changed it. <laughs> but that's okay. That's the whole point of having singles, so you can change them around. So I'm going to put all of those ones just in a spare palette. Put them to the side for now. And let's do an eye look using mostly the colour pop. She's a rainbow palette. So I've taken the glitters out, replaced them with this one and this one and this one. So I'm going to do an eye look first. And I think the first colour I'm going to go into. I'm going to go into this one, which is called Worth It. Then I'm going to go into this beautiful purple here, and this is called Seeing Stars. And change my brush. They're quite um, powdery, see it's spreading around into the pink. You only have to dip very lightly into the colour. And then I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to go into this pink here, which is called. And then between these two, I'm going to go into this one here. And this one is called Hold Me Down. It's a metallic colour. It's very pretty. It's kind of a pink with a lilac shift to it. It's very nice. And then put that in between the two. Perfect colour to go in between those two. And then I'm going to go in with this colour here, which is called Mary Jane. It's also a metallic. It's very yellowy green. The um, red ones kind of stained a bit. <laughs> Same on my eye as it does in the pen, I don't think. I was expecting that one to be more green than it is. So. 
And now I want to go in with this one. So what is this one called? This one is called Do or Dough, as in bread dough. And it's a really pretty one too. <gasps> Let me use my Essence Long Lasting Liner in, what is this one called? Purple Rain. And then I'm going to go over the, the top, I'm going to go in with this one here. But underneath, I'm going to go in with this one here. I keep hearing people say, uh, you're not supposed to put shimmers underneath. But I'm going to do it anyway, but um, <laughs> I don't have a problem putting shimmers underneath. In fact, I quite like shimmers underneath. So I don't see what the problem is. Okay, I'm gonna clean up here. Now I usually use a hydrating primer anyway, so um, I'm quite keen to have a go with this one. So let's see what it's like. That's what it looks like. Smells nice. Kind of got an unusual smell, but it smells okay. Feels kind of lotiony when you first put it on, and then feels a little bit tacky. Okay. So it doesn't feel at all silicony or anything. Leaving this skin a little bit tricky. So now I'm going to try the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. So let's have a look. Now, normally with a tinted moisturizer, let's get my hand. Tinted moisturizer with my fingers, so that's what I'm doing. It's very um, lotiony feeling. I feel I actually want to go in with a brush. Okay, I'm gonna say if you've got oily skin and you don't like an oily shiny finish, it's not oily, it's just it's a very moisturizing finish and I'm all glowy all over. So if you don't like that glowy look, you are not going to like this. And there's not a lot of coverage, it is a very light coverage tinted moisturizer. I'm just going to add a bit more where I felt like it just disappeared altogether. So I got this because I thought it would be quite good in summer because we're heading into summer now. We're in the late spring. And I don't always like to wear lots of foundation in the middle of summer. I didn't really use a sponge because I didn't want to take it all. You should take some of the shininess off when you pat it over with the sponge. So, does it look like I've got anything on? It doesn't look like I've got anything on in the mirror. Does it even out my skin tone at all? Just 
Definitely. My skin is very shiny. I think if you... It's, it's really shiny. And my nose is really shiny. I haven't got oily skin, but this is really shiny. <laughs> And basically, no coverage. Be great for um, my girls. So for a 14-year-old and a 19-year-old who don't really like wearing foundation, this would be excellent for them. I feel like it's not quite enough for me. <laughs> but um, no problems with it being too dry. It's kind of it's your stall. Tacky, whether that's from this or from from the foundation, the um, tinted moisturizer, but my skin that's very tacky. So I'm going to try the um, concealer next. And as I said, I'm not sure if I've got a light enough concealer because for under my eyes, because it looks quite yellowy dark, so I could probably get away with it if it doesn't oxidize. If it oxidizes, I might have a problem. The my whole face feels sticky. It's going kind of cakey. Got my nose. Um, <laughs> no, I just wiped it all off. <laughs> it's going a little bit cakey in here in my eyes as well. I'm not sure if I like this. It's not really covering the way I would want it to, and it's not sitting that nicely. It seems to dry quite fast, so you've got to work with it fairly fast. Like, I didn't use heaps as you saw, because I'm, I never use heaps. And it stays kind of my my whole face is sticky. And it doesn't really cover much, I don't think. I don't know, what do you think? I'm not sure that I'm very impressed. I had high hopes that it was gonna be really hydrating for under my eyes, but I don't know. It's, it's creasing a bit. And it's accentuating my wrinkles under my eyes. Okay. So, can you tell that it's creasing? I'd had to use it more than just once. This is just a first impression. But um, so far, eyeshadows are good. I'm not sure about this though. I, I'll have to try using the primer with my other foundations and see if I like that better. And same with the concealer. I'll have to try that with my other foundation and see if I like it better. I think this would be nice in the summer if you don't want a lot of just want something to even out your skin tone a little bit because I've got so many freckles. Um, the only thing it's covering is a little bit of redness, but not much of it. <laughs> so I didn't buy powder, and so if I want to um, try out anything else that I got, I'm gonna have to powder my face. So I'm gonna do that. 
see how my normal powder routine responds to it. So I'm just using my Fit Me powder from Maybelline and my Revolution Lace Baking Powder. And I'm going to put some of this here. Maybe I don't normally look that closely, but I feel like my eyes are looking really wrinkly with this. But the whole finish of it looks um, more smooth with powder, obviously. Because that's what powder does. <laughs> but I feel like my under eyes just look really old. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put my bronzer and blush on and then I'm going to come back for my highlighter because my highlighter is new. So the other thing I got, yeah, I'll check it out. I'm watching, I will show you, I'm watching the beautiful Kelly Wesley doing her makeup using the Born to Run palette and the collab she's doing. So the other thing I got was one piece of the Designer Disney collection and this was the Horse and Carriage Crest Highlighter, so this is the Cinderella one because I saw so many people saying the Cinderella highlighter was really, really pretty. The packaging was gorgeous and um, Cinderella is my favourite fairy tale. So the packaging is gorgeous, look at that. It is beautiful. A nice champagne kind of highlighter. It was nice. Very blingy. I can look at it. Okay, so let's put some of this on. It's just on dry skin, so um, probably don't even need to do an extra bit of bling for that. I'm just going to go over with my bronzer brush to the bottom there just to blend out the bottom so there's no harsh lines. You can see that. So I'm going to spray my face. Got glitter on me from playing with the glitter earlier. <laughs> so what does happen if I do do an extra pop of the highlighter? This picture is just gorgeous. So pretty. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's pretty. You can definitely see that. Huh? <laughs> okay, I might have to blend that a bit. And it's not really glittery, it's just kind of shiny, which I like. I might need a bit more blush. I feel like I probably wiped most of it off. Now, I didn't get any lip products, so 
I will just use what I've got. Go for my Maybelline Super Stupid Lid. Will I? No, that's not the right colour. Alright, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Maybe this one. Maybe I'll go for the Colour Ish Shine Royale on Insta Heaven. That might be the right. And there is my Colourpop haul, what I brought, trying it out. Um, I can only give conclusions on first impressions. So the highlighter, it's very pretty. Everyone who's been saying that this is a really nice highlighter, it is. It's just your basic champagne kind of highlighter. So it doesn't have any other glow to it or anything, but... Um, it's not glittery, it's just nice and shiny. And you can build it up to be really quite shiny, or you could put less on with a fluffier brush and have it as a more natural highlight. But I can, I can see the shine there. Um, the eyeshadows, the few that I used, because I, I used these three and this one and this one. I think those are the only ones I used. Oh, and, and that one. So those were all the Colourpop ones. I am. Um, they look nice. They performed as I would expect a Colourpop shadow to perform. So, and the colours are pretty. <laughs> so, all good. Um, as I said, the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Primer. I think I'll have to try this with my other foundations to see if I liked it. It seemed fine when I was putting it on. Uh, the tinted moisturizer, I think. If I just want to have it ha put something moisturizing with a slight tint on, this is the product to go for. And um, as I said, I think my girls would quite like this product. If you're looking for lots of coverage, then obviously you're not going to go for a tinted moisturizer anyway, but it's, it's extremely light coverage, I think. And the thing that I was most excited about buying the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic creamy concealer um it still looks all right at the moment but oh, it's not getting any worse or any cakey which some concealers do on me but i don't know i'm gonna have to play with this one more i'm, I'm not sure that i like this <laughs> which is a shame because that's what i wanted most of all because i am starting to get close to being empty on my other concealers so, that's my haul. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And I will see you next time. And thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.